What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev2323. This is a little informational thing. This is my Defender hot water system I put in. And what I'm going over is what happens. You're not supposed to go galvanized to copper. You're supposed to go galvanized to brass to copper. Because if you put galvanized and copper straight together, it tends to corrode. So I'm gonna show you this right now, what happens when you put galvanized to copper together. Cause I figured, well with the Teflon tape in the middle of it, it's not actually making connections so it won't corrode. So I put this together about, I'd say 15 years ago. Okay, so look at the bottom, how bad that corrosion is right there. And you can tell the, the copper's corroded too, but the galvanized is corroding really bad. This was 15 years ago. I knew I wasn't supposed to do this, but I needed to change it out real quick. So I used what was on hands. But now if you think that's the bad part, that's not the bad part. Okay, I'm going to see if I get an angle in here. Man, I can't really see. There you go. Right there. The pipe is halfway closed. See it? This is halfway closed. So we were only getting half the water pressure out of this. And look, it's even rusting on the inside. There it is. It's even rusting on the inside. So that's why you're not supposed to go galvanized to copper. And this did last about 15 years, but we just cut it out. But I wanted to show you what happens. I mean, we didn't even notice we were getting less water pressure, but the showers do feel better now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.